Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the Defiance ETF IWMY, the Russell 2000. What, what, I should say it's based on the Russell 2000. <laughs> so uh, we'll be talking about what the yield could be and um, kind of what to expect going forward in terms of the underlying index uh, and what its performance could be in the future. So let's get it. First thing I want to bring up is that um, a lot of people on our channel have been commenting on the I. WMY. So, um, kind of scroll down here just to see like all the different comments that we got, try to figure out where it first started because I mean, we really started getting a lot of comments on this fund. Um, so shout out to all you guys, but, uh, okay. So Mike G commented, I WMY, um, Posted literally as we did the dividend announcement for uh, Triple QY and JEPY, we got this comment. So thank you, Mike G. Also, um, Joanna and Income Dividend Investor, thank you guys for pointing that out to us. We had no idea that it was showing up. Uh, as a matter of fact, when we looked at the website yesterday, if, if you click on the ETF tab here, you can see the IWMY yes, um, today. But... Even though it was trading on the market yesterday, we didn't actually see this tab until today on the Defiance ETFs website. So anyways, with that being said, let's get into the content. So you guys can see here that uh, it's pretty much brand new. It's basically just a day old. <clears throat> um, so this is the Russell 2000 Enhanced Option Income ETF. So let's start with what, what the Russell 2000 is. Uh, just to let y'all know, basically what the Russell 2000 is, is it is an index with 2,000 companies in the United States. Uh, it's basically an index comprised of 2,000 of the smallest market cap companies in the country. So we're talking micro to small caps, maybe. It's hard to say exactly what the number would be, maybe like 500 million up to a 10 million market cap or something like that. Maybe even, Maybe even as high as like, say, just under a billion. Uh, so very, very small growth, very volatile, very high, high potential growth stocks. Um, you'd basically be talking about something like Amazon when it first came out. That's kind of what you would, something like what you would see in the, uh, in the Russell 2000, very tiny companies in comparison to the big tech. So um, they do daily options on the enhanced income for investors. Uh, it's a little bit different than the Yield Max funds. I believe Yield Max does their options every week. Uh, if I'm somehow mistaken about this, let me know in the comments below. That would be fine. Um, so basically, it says they use daily options to realize rapid time decay by selling in the money puts. Um, so I guess this is a bullish strategy. Uh, so we'll go down here a little bit further. Uh, there is a limit on potential investment gains. Uh, the secondary objective of the fund is to seek exposure to the por performance of the Russell 2000 primary objective like yield max is to seek out current income. You guys can see that they only have 125,000 shares and the net assets under management is only 2.5 million. So as the um, pool of liquidity that they have available grows. The shares outstanding will also most likely grow. That's typically how we've seen this work. Um, it's currently at a premium. Closing price was $20.19. Um, you guys have to understand the underlying index, the Russell is going to kind of be performing based on what the Fed does and what inflation does currently. That's the macro factors that are kind of the headwinds for the market right now. Uh, so the expense ratio is 0.99%. It's pretty high, but you know, again, if you're getting something like a 65 or 55% yield, like you would with triple QY and JPY, I mean, what is 0.99%? That's nothing. The only, the only underlying issue here would be that we would want to see the uh, value of the shares go up over time, even if it's just a little bit, like say, you know, I don't know, 5% a year or something like that increase would still be better than nothing, right? Um, alongside a really ju juicy dividend yield. So here's the ticker, IWMY. It's available on the uh, New York Stock Exchange. So we'll go down further. You guys can see there's not a whole lot of data um, for the fund because it just got released. 
So they have a, I guess they're sitting on a bunch of cash, uh, which is to be expected. They're probably going to plant some of the money in treasuries while they trade the rest. Don't really know what that percentage is going to be, but um, so basically, if you pick up the shares now, there's, it looks like uh, you would pretty much have until the first of December, so roughly about a full month's worth of trading. So yeah, you're going to get looks like two. And you got three weeks here because the markets only trade Monday through Friday. So that's 17 days. So you'd have, um, looks like 21 days. So we'll take out Thanksgiving because markets are probably going to be closed for that. So 20 trading days to pick up this fund before the X date. And then the payment date would be on the 6th. Um, it is monthly, by the way, for those of you who are, new, who are new to the channel, this is a monthly dividend paying stock or options premium distribution for those that need to be correct. So now we're going to go over to the charts and trading view. You guys can see it's literally just been a couple of days since this thing started trading. We're going to scroll down all the way down here to the Russell 2000. We just did our macro video, so keep a lookout for that. But um, and we'll, we'll be talking about like the, you know, the Fed and all the uh, different support and resistance zones where we think the markets are going on and on. But uh, so here's kind of the situation with the Russell 2000. So the Russell 2000, as you guys can see, it's kind of stuck in this range. Basically between 2000 at the top and about 1630 at the bottom. So if we see a repeat of what's been happening over the last roughly about a year and a half, I would say. Uh, pretty much we can expect a bounce from this level all the way back up to 2000. Uh, the reason I bring that up, and oh, also, so as you guys can see here, we are oversold on the RSI, and we are also pretty close to getting oversold on the MACD, and the MACD looks like it's about to have a golden cross. So those, those are all bullish indications, okay? There's a major potential for a reversal here. Uh, the other reason I bring that up is because this is, I mean, this is actually for the S&P, but it could be also an indicator for the Russell as well. We just had a bounce off of this major macro support zone here on the stocks above their 50-day moving average. Um, so let's actually um, try to see if stocks above 50-day on Russell 2000. So since this is the Russell, we'll take a look at that. As you guys can see here on the Russell, it did also uh, turn out to be true on both the S&P and the NASDAQ. But on the Russell 2000, we're basically in a major buy zone here, uh, a reversal point for stocks to move back to the upside. So uh, basically what this is, is when the price action is at the bottom here, this is an indication that we may start moving up. When it's at the top, it's an indication that the markets may start selling off. That's kind of what this indicates. So the Russell 2000 um, is the underlying index here. Basically, we want to see a bounce and then the um, price moves back up to this previous resistance zone. As you guys can see, we've already had a few days of bullish action here. And uh, we are about to get a golden cross on the MACD and it's well below the zero, which is typically a reversal sign. So um, in terms of where you can find it, you guys can find it over here on um, Robinhood. So you just type in IWMY and you'll see it. Here it is. You can go ahead and buy it if you want to. I'm not sure if they have fractional shares available for trading just yet because it was just released. I think the way this platform works after having used it for a while is um, when the fund has been around for a while and it gets bigger, you're able to buy fractional shares, but when it's small, you have to buy whole shares. So this would be the Robinhood platform. And then if we go on to Weeble, well, you guys can basically see here that it is available for trading on Weeble. Now, as in terms of what other platforms it's available on, you guys will have to let me know that because I honestly don't know. I haven't even checked on M1 Finance yet. It's so new, so I'm not expecting M1 Finance to have it available for trading. But this is pretty much where you can find it. Um, I would say that the dividend yield is probably going to be comparable to the other two, uh, which is JEPY and Triple QY. So we'll probably see somewhere 
realistically roughly around a dollar dividend. So JEPY is currently paying about 90 cents or 91 cents in this case. And uh, the triple QY is paying a dollar per share. So probably somewhere between 90 to a dollar. Um, again, if you own 100 shares of this, assuming that the yield is roughly about a dollar per share, you're going to get about $100 a month of passive income as of right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, that pretty much wraps up what the IWMY is, what the underlying index looks like, what the movement for that could be, which uh, we think is to the upside unless the Fed starts cutting rates, which the FOMC meeting was today. And they said that they were going to pause. They're going to do a meeting by meeting basis. So I don't think we're really going to see rate cuts anytime soon. We still think it's going to be by the end of this year to probably the end of March, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, they're kind of data driven. So it really depends on what the CPI does and everything else in the markets, unemployment, so on, so on. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed the content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later. Peace.